Hey babe, what do you think? Can I pull off TLC scrubs? Meh. I can totally pull off TLC scrubs. Happy happy hour, I'm Dave the Basement Bartender. Today we're gonna talk about herbs and spices in cocktails. Waffles and Mochi episode seven tells us that in food, herbs and spices add color and accents of flavor. Well, they do the same thing in cocktails. Speaking of which, feel free to add accents of color and flavor to this video by clicking the like and subscribe button below. It's gonna tell the YouTube algorithm that there's something spicy going on here and then the algorithm will do what algorithms do. I don't know how it works either. I just know that the more people that like and subscribe videos, the more magic. We've all been to a bar and seen a classic cocktail elevated by the addition of botanical flavors. Whether that's the pepper and thyme martini or the sage and ginger old fashioned, these things are really common because they're really good. Adding spices and herbs is a great way to elevate your next cocktail. Today, we're going to explore how to use both herbs and spices with the addition of an herbal liqueur and a spiced shrub. But enough chit chat. Let's get this thing started. Listen to your vegetables and eat your parents with waffles and mochi. Herbs and spices. Wow, this feels different. Look, I don't know what's going on here, but you came to make a drink, so let's make a drink. The first part of the equation is going to come in the form of Dom Benedictine. Benedictine is an herbal liqueur. It's multi-distilled and it adds about 27 various herbs and spices as well as sweetness. The exact recipe is a pretty heavily guarded secret, but several of the components are known. Benedictine incorporates classic flavors such as vanilla, honey, orange, berries, and then adds that with some less traditional flavors. Flavors like angelica, hyssop, juniper, and myrrh, saffron, mace, aloe, and fir cones, Renica, tea, thyme, and coriander, clove, cinnamon, and nutmeg. This cacophony of ingredients adds a complex array of flavors that will be sure to add color to your next drink. Next, we'll add a shrub or a drinking vinegar to spice things up a little bit. A shrub is a guy who thinks he's fly. He's also known as a buster. Totally nailed that. Shrugs are basically a syrup that's been made with vinegar instead of water. They'll typically combine vinegar and then maybe some sort of fruit and possibly a sweetener of some sort to create a mixer that has an infinite shelf life without refrigeration. In fact, smugglers in the 1600s loved shrubs for this reason. As they approached a port, they could easily just dump their cargo off the side of the sea, let it sink, pull in, declare whatever trivial goods they had remaining without paying taxes on the shrubs. Then at any point when no one was around, they could go back out, pull their goods back up, and secretly go into port with this shrub without paying any tariffs. At a local farmer's market, I met a woman who makes organic shrubs out of her home. You don't think she's a smuggler, do you? One that popped out to me was this farmhouse fire shrub, which is inspired by the classic fire cider. This shrub incorporates a multitude of flavors, including ginger, horseradish, garlic, onion, jalapeno, rosemary, turmeric, cayenne, lemon, and apple cider vinegar. You know, all the classic cocktail ingredients. Yeah, I know, this drink is gonna have a ton of flavors, and you might think that that's gonna be too much and overpower the drink. We're gonna build it in a way that is gonna tone all of the individual flavors down and give us a really nice, spicy, herbal beverage that doesn't really taste like any of the individual components. I'm not sponsored by anyone, and I buy all of my ingredients. But this is a good product and I wanna help out a small business where I can. So I provided a link in the description to her Etsy shop where you can pick up some great organic shrubs. While this shrub is refreshing and delicious with just a little bit of seltzer, I really wanted to use it in a cocktail to bring out the variety of herbs and spices. And I think I've done it with what I'm calling the sensory symphony. Hey, Shofi, we brought the herbs and spices. Oh, thank you. Oh, I hope this works, but... If this ain't enough herbs and spices for you, I don't know how to bring color back into your life. In a mixing glass, combine one ounce of farmhouse fire shrub, one ounce of gin, 
half an ounce of Dom Benedictine, half an ounce of lime juice, which is one lime, one ounce of pineapple juice, and two ounces of seltzer. Stir over ice for 15 to 20 seconds and strain into a large coupe with a large form ice. Garnish with rosemary and a dehydrated lime wedge. And there it is, the sensory symphony. Cheers. The shrub is first and foremost the star of this cocktail. Notes of cayenne and jalapeno come through front and center, but the lime and the pineapple juice just kind of add a sweet and tangy element that tone things down and let me taste the flavors without having fire in my mouth. The gin and the Benedictine add a floral note that give this beverage a freshness I didn't think you could get out of a bottle. And then of course, the aromatics from the rosemary come waft through my nose as I bring the glass up to my lips and just really kind of wrap everything up in a nice warm hug. When you're looking to spice things up in your bar, I hope you'll consider reaching for a shrub, an herbal liqueur, or both, and just make something different because you might just stumble upon something delicious. Cheers. Thanks for watching. I can't emphasize enough how much I appreciate you spending four to six minutes with me. I'm a very new, very small YouTube channel, and it would really help me out if you would click the like and subscribe button. Leave a comment of what you like and what you don't like about these videos. If you try these drinks, let me know how they taste. Let me know how you made them better. That's the point of this channel. Let's make things and let's talk about them. Check out some more of my videos. They're around here or somewhere. I don't know, I don't know how it works yet. It's either that, or I start making videos singing 90s hip hop, changing out lyrics for cocktail ingredients. You decide. A shrub is a guy who thinks he's fly. He's also known as a buster. Yeah, okay, maybe I can't pull that one off.